Hello, this is the Greenbrier Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today is Saturday, October the 7th. We will be reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, verses 1 through 9. Here's the word of the Lord. We must pay the most careful attention, therefore, to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away. For since the message spoken through angels was binding, and every violation and disobedience received its just punishment, how shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? This salvation, which was first announced by the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard him. God also, also testified to it by signs, wonders, and various miracles, and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. It is not to angels that he has subjected the world to come, about which we are speaking, but there is a place where someone has testified, what is mankind, that you are mindful of them, a son of man, that you care for him. You have made them little lower than the angels. You've crowned them with glory and honor and put everything under their feet. And putting everything under them, God left nothing that is not subject to them. Yet at present, we do not see everything subject to them. But we do see Jesus, who was made lower than the angels for a little time, now crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. And that is the word of the Lord. Our article today is called to attention by Michael Scarlett, and here's what Michael has to say. A recurring pattern in Eastern Orthodox worship is calling the congregation's attention to the proclamation in the Holy Scriptures. Worshippers here exclaimed, Wisdom, attend, and let us attend before the reading and the confession of faith through the Nicene Creed. This way of worshiping has been handed down for nearly 1,700 years. There's something significant here in this call to attention. God's word is being declared. The holy word of the Lord is being read. The Holy Spirit is active and moving. God is present. Christ is with us. Attend. Pay attention. Listen. Wake up. In the letters written to the seven churches in the book of Revelation, we read, Whoever has ears, let them hear what the scripture says to the churches. And that's from Revelation 3, verse 22. We are called to be actively present and pay attention to what we have learned, what we have received in the great tradition of the church. Putting to practice what we have received helps keep us from drifting from our holy faith. Drift brings apathy and indifference. Drift pulls us away from Christ and his holiness. Let us pay attention. Let us attend. Are we listening or drifting? The hymn today is All Praise Our Redeeming Lord by Charles Wesley. He builds us up, each other up, and gathering into one. To our high callings, glorious hope, we hand in hand go on. And from the 25th Psalm, verse 1, In you, Lord, my God, I put my trust. And please pray that many in Jamaica will come to know Christ and the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And this is your daily devotion for Saturday, October the 7th. Have a blessed day.